Remember when Morocco shocked the globe when they became the first African nation to reach the World Cup semifinals? Of course you do! They put in some performances for the ages! It was thanks to multiple tactical masterclasses by Walid Regragi, but also due to the unbelievable showings of his players. Zaish, Hakimi, Unai have all been key to Morocco's historic achievement, but there was another man who stood tall against Europe's best players, a player who pocketed the likes of Javi, Pedri, and even Kylian Mbappe despite losing the semi-finals against France. We're talking about Sofyan Amrabat, the man who emerged as one of the best defensive midfielders in the world after his World Cup performances, making giants like Barcelona and Liverpool interested in signing him. Sofyan ended up signing for Manchester United on the transfer's deadline day, and with the club struggling at the start of the season, the Moroccan can make him an unexpected hero in the theater of dreams. So if you want to learn who Amrambat is, how he started his career, and what makes him a perfect signing for the Red Devils, hit those like and subscribe buttons and make sure to watch until the end of the video. Amrambat was born on August 21st, 1996 in the little city of Wizen, Netherlands. Much like many Moroccan immigrants living in the Netherlands, Sofyan and his family were devout football followers. In fact, his parents saw the beautiful game as a resort for their children to keep them busy rather than waste their time roaming the streets. It all started with Sofyan's older brother, Norden, who was enrolled in HSV de Zuidvogels, a local team in the outskirts of Utrecht. Due to their resemblance, many people mix up Sofyan with Norden, thinking that they're twins. Well, Norden is nine years older than Sofyan, and he actually played a crucial role for his younger brother to follow his steps to become a professional footballer. Sofyan, who saw his older brother join Ajax's youth ranks, followed suit and joined HSV de Zuidvogels. This is where the football journey began. In 2007, at 11 years old, Sofyan had successful trials at Utrecht and was immediately included in the club's youth ranks. Step by step, he started to rise through the levels, and seven years later, he signed his first professional contract. On November 2, 2014, he made his debut, coming in as a substitute for seven minutes against Vitesse. Two months later, he had his first start playing the whole game against Heracles Almelo. In the 2016-2017 season, his third Utrecht, Sofyan became a consistent starter. With 38 appearances, one goal, and seven assists across all competitions, the Moroccan showed glimpses of his talent and explosiveness in the midfield, which invited Feyenoord Rotterdam to show interest in the player. In the summer of 2017, Sofyan joined Feyenoord with a four-year contract with a transfer fee of $4 million million euros, and this is where he won his first ever trophy. Featuring 31 times in the 2017-2018 season, Sofyan finished the campaign with the cup winner's medal. His performances encouraged the Dutch national team manager Dick Advocat to pursue the young midfielder to represent the Netherlands internationally. Sofyan, who already played for the youth level of the Dutch squad, decided to change destination after he was summoned by his ancestral country Morocco. To say that Amrabat made the right call is an understatement. While the Netherlands failed to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Amrabat flew to Russia to participate in the tournament with Morocco. He also made history after coming on as a substitute against Iran to replace his brother Nordin. The Moroccans crashed out of the group stage after a VAR controversy. Yes, it was Nordin who called out VAR after the game between Spain and Morocco. Sofyan went back to Feyenoord. However, due to competition for his spot, it was best for all parties to sell him to the Belgian side Club Bruges. After one season in which he featured 29 times, Sofyan was loaned out to Serie A side Hellas Verona in August 2019. He immediately became a regular for his new club, impressing with his tenacity and quality on the ball. So in January 2020, Elas Verona jumped on the opportunity by triggering the player's purchase option of just 3.5 million euros, then selling him immediately for 20 million euros to Fiorentina while keeping him on loan for the remainder of the season. That was a masterclass in business because Elas Verona made a profit and ended up finishing ninth, their highest ever finish in the Serie A, with Amrabat winning their Player of the Season award. In August 2020, Sofyan joined his new club Fiorentina, where he spent three seasons in which he featured 107 times for the club. In the 2022-23 campaign, he was steps away from making history as he lost the Coppa Italia final against Inter and the UEFA Conference League final against West Ham. But wait, these were not Sofyan's season highlights. It was the 2022 Qatar World Cup where Amrabat stunned the world. 
During the tournament, not only did Morocco come on top of a difficult group with the likes of Croatia, Belgium, and Canada, but they also went on to eliminate Spain and Portugal in the knockout stages to become the first African side to reach the World Cup semifinals. Sofyan played the full minutes of every game, leading the Moroccan low block and acting as the main man in the build-up. He was all over the pitch in every game, and his tackle on Kylian Mbappe in the semis highlights his whole tournament. And just like that, Sofyan Amrabat ended up being one of the best holding midfielders in the world after an outstanding 2022-2023 campaign which brought links with multiple European giants such as Barcelona, who wanted to sign the player immediately after the World Cup. Amrambad finished his season with Fiorentina, and with the summer transfer window opening, rumors of interest from Manchester United started to emerge, with the Red Devils having other priorities such as a new number 9 and a new goalkeeper, Sofian Amrambad had to wait until the deadline day to turn his dream into reality. He refused Jurgen Klopp's approach and insisted he wanted to be reunited with his old manager Eric Ten Hag. On deadline day, Manchester United paid Fiorentina a loan fee of £8.5 million, with the deal containing an option to buy for £21.4 million. And this brings us to the main question of our video. Why is Sofian Amrabat a perfect signing for the Red Devils? You're probably wondering, he already played three games and United lost two, so what makes him so special? Well, hear us out. Yes, it's true that Sofyan started in the last four consecutive games, but he's been deployed three times as a left back in the absence of the injured Luke Shaw and Sergio Reguilon. Still, he put in decent performances from that position, highlighting his first trait, versatility. The Moroccan can play as a fullback, as a number six, or as an advanced midfielder, which will give Ten Hag more solutions, especially with the injury crisis the club is going through. His tenacity and ability to cover various positions in the midfield are highlighted as valuable assets for the club, bringing more depth to the squad. Now, let's talk about what's more important, his play style. Now, you'd expect a number six to be aggressive, intense, and capable of breaking opposition attacks. Well, the 27-year-old is more than capable of doing so, which makes him the perfect replacement for the aging Casemiro. He has great positional sense, allowing his team to press high while covering the spaces left behind. He also loves him some tackles, as he averaged 1.84 tackles per 90 minutes throughout the previous Serie A season. His ability to recover the ball and disrupt opposition play is a crucial aspect of his game, which Casemiro has struggled with during this season. Sofian is also known for his high work rate and ability to cover a lot of ground during matches, making him a reliable presence in the midfield. That's it, right? That is what a number six needs to do. Well, not for Sofyan. The Moroccan is not your typical defensive midfielder. In fact, he's excellent with the ball at his feet, which many would find surprising. Last season, he averaged 45 accurate passes per game. This makes him a great asset in the build-up phase and how Ten Hag wants to play. He's also a great progressor of the ball, using his physicality to drive forward without losing possession. When pressed, Sofyan often twists and turns quickly, which makes him capable of escaping the opposition press. All in all, while Sofyan Amrambat might be an urgent signing, he can bring to this United side what Ten Hag wanted when he pursued Frankie de Jong. Yes, the Dutchman is a much better midfielder. Still, Sofyan and this deteriorating United team can do wonders with his physicality, in-possession qualities, and especially his desire to win. Control is the key word. Thanks to his simplicity yet effectiveness in retaining the ball and circulating it, the Moroccan can help this United side gain more control in games, which is something the club missed during the start of this season. Putting all his footballing abilities aside, the Moroccan is also a mentality monster. It was there for everyone to see during the 2022 World Cup. He played against Spain with injections to ease off the pain of his injury. Lately, he declared that he would be prepared to play as a goalkeeper for Ten Hag, admitting that it's been his dream to play for the Red Devils. So what do you think? Will Amrambat help transform this United squad once he starts playing in his natural position? Will he be the savior the Old Trafford needs? Share your thoughts in the comments, and remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons for more content.